Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is a little bonus video. So this won't be the only video for the week. I'm doing a little fabric haul plus answering some fabric questions I always get on my channel. And also showing you all the fabric that I have here with me. Um, so I'm actually doing something really big. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to make 1000 scrunchies in a week. So stay tuned for that video because that's coming very soon. I haven't uh, started yet. I'm starting tomorrow uh, morning. So, and then I'll do that for one week and see how many I make. I'm pretty confident I'll be able to make a thousand, but we'll see. We'll see. So I went to spotlight on the weekend after my market. Uh, I love going to different spotlights because there's always like clearance fabrics. I am obsessed with clearance fabrics, especially from spotlight. So I bought <laughs> it's so heavy. <laughs> this whole bag. Um, I have no idea how many meters is in here. I, I couldn't even guess. Maybe like 50 meters worth of fabric, probably more, because a lot of the materials I got three or four meters of, and some of them I ended up with six meters of, and there's a lot of different materials in there. So there's a lot in there. <laughs> um, and I also got... This bag, which is full of like remnants. Uh, obviously, because I make scrunchies and like other small hair accessories, remnants are perfect for me and they're super cheap as well. So, I guess like if you're just starting out, remnants are the way to go. But yeah, I got some like really cute ones. And you'll also notice that a lot of these fabrics are different to the ones I usually have because I'm actually starting to make different products. I've got 10 different products <laughs> that I'm bringing in over the next six months besides stickers. So stickers I've already brought in. I'm also bringing, yeah, 10 different products in where I'm at least going to trial them and see how I go if I like making them. Like if I don't like making them, I won't be bringing them in. Uh, and if like you guys don't like them, I'll probably discontinue them. So yeah, it just depends on how they go. But there is 10 different things that I wanted to bring in. Bring in. I guess we'll start off with this massive bag down here. First up, we've got this one. I got quite a few meters of this because I'm going to be making headbands out of it, like stretchy headbands. I'm not familiar with the knit terms because I have never really sewn with them before. So I know this is a knit of some sort. I have no idea what sort it is. Maybe jersey. I have no idea. Got this one, which it feels uh, a little bit more hard than the last one, but it's also, yeah, an, like a knit one. It's like a stretch stretch knit one so i got that one as well i really like this one. Oh yeah this one actually says what it is a bamboo poly spandex so yeah another stretchy one i thought this one was really cute um i only got a meter of this one but this one's a knit one as well stretchy another stretchy one got some rayon and to answer your questions about what fabrics i use for my scrunchies i pretty much use anything <laughs> i can get my hands on but my favorites are definitely it's like Galancia or something that's in the they're all from spotlight like I don't really shop anywhere else I have had a few comments saying to shop at certain places. I haven't got around to looking at them yet or ordering from them uh, Just because I already have over 400 different fabrics Because <laughs> I'm crazy. So I've already got heaps of fabric So I haven't really looked at anywhere else and I just like spotlight just because I actually do like their quality I know some people say oh, I don't like their quality. I like their quality. I like using yeah, Galancia Velvet. I'm probably saying that wrong because in my head I'm spelling it and I don't think it's that's how you spell it. But it's in the furnishing section. That is like my favorite go-to fabric. And I love making scrunchies out of that because they just last so long. I really like satin. Deluxe satin from Spotlight. It's $19.99 full price. Just the quilters cotton and the poplin cotton, uh, which is really nice. Rayon's alright. Like, I, they look really good once, like, they're first made. But like after you wear them for a while, I don't like how the rayon like sort of creases. So although like they look really good at first, I don't like the longevity of the material using the rayons. I use like just other velvets. So I use um, a cord, like corduroy velvet. I use, I've used penne velvet. I don't really like penne though. <laughs> that's from Spotlight as well. Crinkle velvet. Oh, and I also like crinkle cloth. So that's a really nice one as well. They have the yeah, the ones that's like really nice for them that really make scrunchies really well. <laughs> and linen as well, like linen blends, they're quite nice to make scrunchies out of. And I pretty much just named like half of Spotlight's materials. 
Um, I like all the metallics as well. There's heaps of like metallic materials that you can get, either stretch or just be really shiny. I love all those because it just looks so nice. Pretty much all the materials that I use on a regular. There is some like random ones, um, like canvas or duck drill. Those sort of ones, they also make pretty good scrunchies too. I got heaps of material just behind me. I'll show you guys that in a minute too. Continuing on, so that's that, that was the question about what materials I use. I get that all the time on my channel. This one's also rayon. So I've actually got this exact print in the cotton version. But yeah, I saw this and I was like, oh, perfect. So I got heaps of meters of this. Of this, <laughs> Just to be clear, everything I'm showing you was either $1 a meter or $3 a meter in Australian dollars from Spotlight. So yeah, I went on the weekend and um, to a different Spotlight I don't go to and it was just massive clear out. My Spotlight, although it's pretty good for getting ones uh, that are pretty cheap, usually I spend between four and eight dollars a meter. And I find like when you go like closer to Melbourne, there's not really good deals. Like they're usually eight or $10 a meter. You don't really get it cheaper than that. So I definitely like having uh, the country Sort of spotlights because I like, can get it so cheap. So this is also for my headbands. This isn't a stretch one though. This is for a different sort of headband that I'm going to be making, um, which is like a knot headband. And I really like this material. I probably should have got some more of it, or maybe they didn't have enough. Maybe I did get the whole lot. I don't know. But yeah, that's really nice. This one I just got for my DIY pack. So this one's like a one of the cheap ones that usually sit on the walls in like big rolls. This is top poplin. Um, another one which will be used for my headbands. Really like this one as well. I'm really excited to make my headbands. So like, obviously I'm going to be making thousand scrunchies this week, so I don't have time to make um, my products this week. I did start on a few products last week, which I just made bulk of, but yeah, I'm still waiting on other supplies to come in. This one, I, so I don't usually buy red. That's, I don't know, if you've, if you've been on my store before, even though I have like 400 different fabrics, you'll be lucky to find red fabrics unless it's like Christmas time or something like that. I don't really buy red, but I thought maybe I'll buy some red because I know, I know people do like red. I just, when I shop for fabrics, I just, I look at them and I don't know. I just, I just have a taste for fabrics and I'd be like, yep, yep, yep. No, this I wouldn't have picked up, but I thought I'll give it a go and um, see if anyone else likes it. I'll probably just have it at market, so I won't have it online. But yeah, there's that one. This one I really like. I like, I love the texture of it. So what is this one? It's a rayon crepe flower. So this one's so pretty. It's really nice. Um, yeah, I just really like the texture of this one. So this one made, made into headbands as well. I don't think I'll make scrunchies out of this one, but yeah, headbands definitely. So I got this one. This one's more for like markets, like for kids. So it's just got like moons and like earth. Planets? Planets on it. Yeah, that probably would would uh, be the correct terminology there. But yeah, so that is, what is this? Like a satin material. And I also got bulk of these. So these have little butterflies on them. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, they are so cute. So with these ones, I'm going to make scrunchies but have like a satin or like a something underneath. So it'll be like two materials. So I've got this one and this one. So I already do have the yellow, which I have pom-poms in, uh, which yeah, is on my store already. I didn't have the pink though, so I'm excited for the pink. I also got these ones. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but they're also a dollar a meter. So, you know, might use them for something. Um, these are muslin, so they're quite light material. But yeah, they can just go on my stash because, you know, you can never have enough fabric. I have so much fabric. <laughs> also got this one. Uh, so that's a dotty one. Also, I don't know what I'm going to do with that one, but just got it anyway. So I bought the rest of this one. I've actually already have this one in stock on my store. It's one of my favorites. It just reminds me of like clueless sort of. It's like got pink undertones though. I had one that was like mustard, which was like more sort of clueless vibes, but uh, which is a movie. I don't know. Yeah, I, I hope you guys know what that is. It's a movie. Um, but yeah, this one's really cute as well. Now I got this one. So this one's for the headbands again. Although I don't think it's very stretch. Is it stretch? Oh yeah, it is stretch. So it's organic cotton jersey. So that one be for like the baby ones. I'm doing adult headbands and baby headbands. I wasn't going to do baby headbands because I'm trying to steer away from like baby stuff, but I thought I would do those for probably markets 
I don't know if I'll have them online yet. Okay, then I got this one. What is that? It's a vis viscose, vis I'm probably saying that wrong, cotton flax rayon fabric. So I don't even know what that's gonna feel like, but I thought the print was pretty and I thought headbands, because the headbands need to be a little bit more stiff than like just normal rayon. And that one looked a bit more stiffer than normal rayon. Um, this one is cotton. So it's just like that. This one's satin. That's the birdie one. I'm pretty sure this one's a stretch. It looks stretchy. This one is sort of like a big weave. Yeah, it's linen. So yeah, that's going to be like a little bit more stiff. This one, I actually think I have this one already as well. It's just like, it's only like 20 centimeters. It's tiny. This one, I'm pretty sure, yeah, homespun. So that's just um, the Prima homespun. So cotton. Plain rayon spandex knit. This one's a knit one as well. Knit, yeah, so it's going to be stretchy. So I'll use that for headbands too. This one's just plain cotton, plain white cotton, which I use for my labels. I usually try and get them out of the remnant boxes because uh, it's even more cheaper than buying them by the meter. So, and like there's always, especially like, like in Melbourne, there's always so much white remnants, uh, like white cotton remnants. I don't know why, but yeah, so got that. <laughs> this one is a muslin as well. So this one's got like little feathers on it. I can't, probably can't really see that one. This one is a knit. It's like rib, ribbed. So that's again for my headbands. And this one is chiffon. Chiffon. Chiffon? Chiffon. Chiffon. I don't know. I said that one either. So there's that one. Um, and I also, also probably like, I don't know, a couple days before I went here, I went to Spotlight in my town, Trelgan, <laughs> and I bought other stuff. Okay, so these are the ones I bought, would have been like last week sometime. So I got this one, which is a double cloth. It's a gray. So I've already got this in mustard, burgundy, green, and then two different pinks, like an apricot and a dusty pink. Uh, so I thought I'd get gray uh, for the headbands. I only got a little bit of each because I don't know if I will end up liking the headbands, if I want to sew them. Because um, obviously I don't want to sew things that I don't like sewing, if that makes sense. I love sewing scrunchies. I really like making bows. So that doesn't bother me. <laughs> but I don't know about these other items. I don't know if I'll like them or if they will be too tedious. And I'll be like, nah. So yeah. So we've got, I only got like probably half a meter or a meter of each of the ones that I paid like mostly full price for. Well, not full price, but like spotlight, spotlight sale. <laughs> Um, when they usually have like 30 or 40% off. So I got this one as well. This one's a knit. It's just uh, a jersey. I'm pretty sure it's just pink stretch um, Got the ribbed one. So got this one. It's like quite soft and I got this one This one's a different sort of ribbing and yet these are all for headbands as well. It's pink and then I got this color satin um, So that's yeah quite dark that's for uh, my scrunchies and a different sort of headband I'm doing. So I'm doing like so many different headbands anyway. And then this one, so that's just the, that's the deluxe satin, which I quite like. I love the feel of it. So again, for my scrunchies and um, I'm probably going to use those for the headbands as well. And then I got this one because I really like mushrooms. So I couldn't really go past this one. I only got half a meter. Uh, I'll probably just make a scrunchie for myself and then I'll probably just go to markets rather than going online. And I suppose I will show you guys what I've got behind me. So this is maybe half of my favorite collection. Probably not. It's probably not even half. It's probably like one third of my favorite collection. The rest is at home. But I've brought it all here because I'm going to do the scrunchie challenge here uh, for the next week. <laughs> So we've got, I bought new tubs. So I also brought new tubs at Spotlight on the weekend. They were $15 for a pack of four. So I got two, two lots of them, which is what most of these tubs, I've, they're pretty much all new ones. And I've just put fabric in them from the tubs I have at home. Uh, Cause I just went through all my tubs and picked out which ones I wanted, uh, which fabrics. So yeah, I've got all these fabrics I'm gonna make scrunchies out of. I'm gonna cut heaps. Heaps and heaps. And then elastic. So yeah, there's a lot of elastic in here. I actually think I'm only just going to have enough for 1,000 wide elastic scrunchies. 
but I have about 200 worth for these ones, my thin elastics. Uh, and I also bought my thread, uh, for anyone wondering, I use birch or cheap black thread. I don't bother with anything expensive because I just go through it too quickly. And I've never really needed expensive thread because, I don't know, I just, I use this, there's no problem with it. Honestly, it's no problem. Um, I've got these. So these are a lot of sparkly ones in here. That's another knit for my uh, headbands though. And I also got the same fabric under there <laughs> that I had from earlier. And these are also my scrunchies I'm going to make. I love these for scrunchies, but I only sell these at markets because they're so thick. And I can't really send them in envelopes. So I just sell those at market. Quite a lot of fabric here. Well, I hope you liked this bonus video of my little fabric haul and answering some of your fabric questions. I've definitely forgotten heaps of questions because it's like late at night and I want to go to bed. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, if you have any other questions, just comment below and I'll try my best to answer them. I'm I'm not 100% with the fabric lingo. Like, I'm no, like, I mean, I, I sew, but like, I'm, I'm not up, up to speed with like all the fabric names and what the, yeah, I have no idea. So, I'll try my best <laughs> to answer any questions you have. Uh, yeah, best of my ability. Because, yeah, I just, I just go by feel. Which is most of the reason I don't like to purchase online because I like to feel the fabric before I purchase it. Make sure you're, you've liked this video and you're subscribed to my channel and also turn the bell notification on so you'll be notified when I post my 1000 scrunchy video challenge. That was a mouthful. Hope you like this bonus video. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!